Altså size 1, altså 1, nej, jeg er ikke. Og så er jeg Det er dobbelt fodbold. Det er dobbelt fodbold og basketball og skateboard. Ja. Det er virkelig lækkert, så sådan er jeg ikke. But now I will... But! 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 I would like to stress that I would like to stress. I would like to stress that I would like to stress. I would like to stress that video games can help this all. Can help solve these problems. Can help solve these problems. Really? Yes. <laughs> First. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you how. First, games. When kids play games, in the eye of the kids, video games are tools. For them to socialize with each other. For What example, socialize? How to, how do socialize? For example, how to socialize when you play go, Candy Crush? When they go <laughs> to the school, they can tell each other. Oh, for example, Candy Crush. Huh. I play 149 levels. I play 150. Let me teach you how to win the 149 levels. So this makes them a common ground. For them to talk to each other by sharing their ideas. Ah. That's the first point. Okay. Now that's the second point. Games, as well as some video games, they have some content of cultural history, mythology, geography, games such as Age of Mythology. Mythology. What is that? What is mythology? Mythology. 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 Sorry. Not Mytho- mythology. Mythology. Mytho. Mytho. Mythology. Mythology. Yeah. Civilization and games such as Age of Empire. These may spark kids' interest to to find them on internet, books, sit down and read about more of the cultural history. Ancient history about mythology and gain more knowledge on this area of aspects. For example, give specific example. For example, for example, through that game, through the game, they can find. I will take an example from Age of Empire. They start with Stone Age and they grow to Bronze Age, Silver Age, and then expand to modern history. So they will find that. How Bronze Age starts with. They have used those uh, tools such as bronze, and bronze, 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 huh. evolve into better civilization, then grows to modern age. Uh huh. Well, this uh, more than that, they can search about the geography of where is the ancient Babylon are. Babylon. Babylon. Then Egypt. Uh-huh. For example, then where is China? So they can throughout the world history. You mean they don't know where China is? Well, some kids don't know. Okay, never. Mind. Okay. <laughs> really, they don't know. Okay. So that's the, my second point. Uh-huh. Then the third point: exercising. Huh. Very important fact is that kids play games. They like to copycat. I would say they like to learn. But what you see is what you learn. Uh huh. Basketball, wow, fancy move, dunk. Skateboard, wow, three three sixty flip, zigzag flip. When they saw it, they play it. They would learn outside. So they can socialize at the at the field court. They play and try the new move they learn from video games. More than that, they also can play games such as dancing indoors. Dancing move, tennis, which they can exercise all over their body, which solve the problem of exercising lack of exercising that parents are uh, worried of. Therefore, I urge all of you that allowing your kids. I will. I would like to urge all of you parents. All of you parents to allow your kids to play more video games as it. Can help kids develop in educational, social, and physical ways. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Well done.